Hi friends. This book is called Love Monster. Look at that monster. Isn't he funny looking? <clears throat> this is a monster right there. Oh, hello monster. Say hello monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking to say the least. Does he look funny? I think he looks really funny. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty hard. I see bunnies and kitties and soft, fluffy things, and he looks different. He has big, jagged teeth. You might have noticed that everyone loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, a little bit googly-eyed monster. Look at his eyes. They're very big. Poor monster. How might he be feeling? Maybe he's feeling sad because nobody likes him. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a little bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around kind, he decided to set out and look for someone to love him just the way he was. What a good idea. He looked high and he looked low. He looked middle-ish too. There's a tumbleweed. He looked inside. Look, he's going inside the mail slot in that door. That's super funny. And he looked outside. Now he's on the inside. You can just see his eyes looking. More than once he thought that maybe, just maybe, he found what he was looking for. But as things turned out, things were never the way they seemed. So look here. It says non-cute fancy dress shop. That's called a mannequin. Sometimes there, there are, um, it looks like people, but they're not real. They're not real people, but they put the clothes on them at stores. That's not a friend, is it? And this is his shadow. Could that be a friend for him? I don't think so. And here, he's looking in the water and he sees his reflection. Can that be a friend for him? Nope, because that's just him. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. Look, there's a little dark cloud over his head. I think that means he might be feeling kind of sad. And then, it didn't go well some more, and now the dark cloud is raining on him. So it's really sad. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact, that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. Ooh. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and to go home. Does he look like he's never going to find a friend to love him just the way he is? But look, just then, here comes a, a, a bus. But in the blink of a googly eye, I see someone. Do you see someone? See, there's the cute bunnies. Everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you. And look who found him. A friend. Someone to love him just the way he was. This says, for the monsters who found me. And one slightly hairy one in particular. Welcome to Cutesville, home of the fluffy and slightly hairy. That's funny, isn't it? Good job. Well, friends, I hope you have 
a great Valentine's Day. Thanks for coming and listening to this story. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.